Hello! Welcome back to the desolate lands of Satisfactory. As we survey the situation and look at things and consider water as one important source, because as we move along in our progress, I can see that I've been watching guys like Kibitz and other guys with their amazing builds and trying to figure out what's the best process. I'm not building like them. I'm using the train and building into it and around it, through it. And I've come to the conclusion that we need to do some serious oil processing. To make aluminum, there is no such thing as aluminum in this game. There is no aluminum source that you just start tapping aluminum. So we need to take and find oil and we need to ship this shit around town to different processing plants is the way I see it in order to do this efficiently and we need to stack oil into these containers out in the fields we can't just pipe the shit directly to the, from the pump it doesn't work you know so in order to make aluminum you need to process a lot of processing different processes so I am going to build up in here this is, um, it's led me to my new home. Looks like there's oil down there, somewheres. And, um, this is going to be my new extraction pit. Hopefully it's pure. Now... Take a look at my new crib. This is going to be dope, yo. I'm far away from my surroundings. My home is... Um, my home base is like here. My refinery is down here. The beast is over here. And I took the train off. The train delivers from here to there to here. And is soon to be going up here. You know. And then I guess these will be like processing little plants over here. These will be my small like micro plants over in here. Delivering to the beast. Which is doing a good job. The beast is on demand. <clears throat> it can still be added to upward so it's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out but this is going to be my refinery area back in here and check this out this is this is going to be incredible watch this as I come through here I'm at the top of these trees this, these tabletops up in here but right now I have Um, a lot of battery backup. Like, I'm only consuming like 1200 megawatts. When I'm really pumping, I'm consuming like 3200 megawatts. Look at these, I got these, I'm gonna have this all set up like, um, you know, lighting. <laughs> I'm gonna, like, because you can set for different, um, Cascades of the rainbow with these lights. So I'm gonna like light these <laughs> this <laughs> this waterfall up, man, like a rainbow. And um, then there are these tops of these things. Okay, so 
I've been setting our battery back up, and it, they, they look pretty cool, you know, I got them in like spires, <laughs> they're fucking awesome. And so, I'm going to take and turn this into my battery backup forest. Okay, through here, I'm just going to set up battery backups everywhere along and through here. Look at this back in here. <laughs> this is going to be my battery backup bank back in here. I was going to do it in the um, spider den, but <clears throat> this is going to be sick through here. It's going to be my full on battery backup for the system all built down in here. All through here. Look at this. It goes on forever. This is going to take a while to build this out. Then. It's kind of fun flying through here too. You got to pay attention to your fuel. Yep. My battery backup is going to be immense. Immense, y'all. And then, where's my crib at? My crib's around here somewhere yet. Yeah, it starts over here. I ran out of... I can't really build. I'm way out in the middle of nowhere. So I can't really build, but you can see the start of my new my new home. I think um, I don't really care for the color of it right there. Let's uh, let's let's get this. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere there, so maybe red something to make it pop, you know. Is this white? Really? Alright, that actually looks pretty good. And, um, yes. Welcome home. Just as what I've got started so far. This is going to be a, a spare room. Storage or something. be the you know, main living area. We'll extend it out into space here a little bit. We can do a little build. Let's get our um, coated concrete floors out.
Oh yeah, yeah, looking good. We don't need we don't need super massive crib, do we? I don't I don't think so. Do something with these walls up here, you know, we'll fix this up. Sweet. Probably gotta have some kind of like bit of an overhang, I would think. But like the deck grilling area. Uh oh, we're running out of materials. So that's the deal. So that's how we're going to be our house. spot when I'm done moving from the spider cave to here is going to be the next setup we got to get the hub up here so the hub has to set in here somewhere because that's our house basically so we'll get that figured out let's go find this oil this is the favorite part of my game, really. It's just doing this stuff. Alright. 180, 199, and 330. 180. Oil. Because this is what it's about, right here. We're going to have to build. Must be right under this rock. Oh, yeah. Impure figures. We need the good stuff. We couldn't be so lucky that it would just be. right under the house. One thirty seven. I'm prepared for something bad to happen down here. It can't be so nice. Impure fuckers. We need the good stuff. Where's it at? One fifty. All right. This is going to be crap, too. Normal. Okay. Ew. Whoa. Normal. So... That kind of sucks. Impures on a normal. So, but you can't deny the surroundings. And I'm 
must be something else around here. That will make it recover. I mean, we can, we can do something with that amount of oil. And then this is, like, my, gonna be my battery. Battery backup heaven. We don't have a choice, but... To do what we need to do back in here. Like, just figure out where the train's gonna come in. Train platform's gonna be up on top. That way we can see it from the house. Those big platforms up there. So that's how the train's coming in. We'll build starting right there, just right across the top here. Because there's no way I'm bringing the train through here. So, one of my favorite parts of the game. And I guess we just have to make a little mark up here. This is where we're at. This is where the train's coming. I don't know if we can make track or not. Really can't. We're out of materials again. We just gotta go back. Wow. Wow. We gotta go this way. So we gotta look for a train, how to get the train through here. We're probably about out of fuel. We need to collect fruit and get the hell out of here. Oh, this is the train's gonna come through this area to get some beams and get jiggy with it to get this done. <laughs> this game is incredible, man. This is one of my favorite parts, is just figuring out how to get around. You gotta be damn good with your jetpack, you can get swallowed up. See, and if you can't build up, I gotta build a wall. I gotta build something here. Um. Yeah. Just get me. I think I can get to that spot. This stuff here is pretty handy. Like, why couldn't a train sit on that? Yeah. 
That's how you build the train system right there. And then you take and I see where I'm going with this, can't you? That's how you build the train system up, down, and around this mug with these things. Lots of steel and lots of concrete. And might as well just get to doing it until I mean, I'm gonna run out, like, you know, run out, like, ASAP. Oh shit. out of beams but yeah we got it mm -hmm. right through here Thirty-three. All right, we're gonna haul back. We made some progress there. Can we lay? How much electric line can we lay through here? See, we're, we're coming. We're, 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 we're going places. We're starting to get this 
network figured out here. Well, I probably should. Put a freaking utility pole up here. Well, I'm thinking. Wham! And we need to run some power up in this mug. No concrete. Damn. Mm, that sucks. There's our pipeline down there. We need to get that going. I think we got oil around here too. One line. So really, we're not that far away from... what we want to deal with, except for we got to deal with this stupid cliff. Which is serious business. Looks like... If we come out of here, we go right up on this plateau here. It brings you right up in here. See, right up through the columns, right up through there, we can get something going to get up in there with the train. Kind of nice little water thing going on here. Yeah, I see you guys. I'm gonna have to kill you guys.
little bit of the races. We'll build ourselves another little fall back home right here. We got nothing to eat. We need some of these guys. are moving forward. So, this is the best part of the game. One of the best parts is just figuring out where the heck everything's at. How are you going to get there? What you stumble upon once you do. Like, I got this Briggsonite stuff, which I believe is the key to see the here I am right here unlocking aluminum, but you earn it out of the out of the ground. ground and then you think you'd start to refine it well you know you know smelt it right from there like I got right here these are my my gem mines salt my quartz and gem mine which is this is this is quite the system right here this whole setup is this baby rocks boy this this whole setup I got here is incredible this is my these are my smelters I had them cadmium they were they were doing cadmium making quick wire well there's 10 right here and there's another 10 up here and they're getting ready to do aluminum but these 10 are ready to go do aluminum I got them emptied out they're ready to they're ready to you know, rock and roll. Then, down over here, this is my quartz refinement area. Silica and raw quartz. And then quick wire. And this stuff's all being delivered to this staging area up here, which is, this thing runs like clockwork. Let's just get it rolling here a minute. This is how I determine if the system is operating correctly or not. I, uh... Oh, yeah. This stuff is like gold in this game. I, I have so much of it. Like, I have five, six containers of this stuff.
smelters are doing their biz. This is my crib down here. My house. Where we have the raw quartz and then the silica and such being delivered out to my staging area, which is where I'm bringing in my aluminum I'm getting my quartz from way up here and th there's the aluminum right there I've dragged it all the way from the swamp way the frick out here like I made this road and I got this material this whatever this is Backside or whatever, from a tough part of the swamp. There's two. There's two um, miners out here working, providing material down this line. And that's fast. It's a Mark IV belt, so it's fast. So it should be able to keep up. Backside. That's. That's how you make aluminum, is that stuff right there. So, you'd think you'd just run it right into the, um, into the plant. And then run it right into those smelters, but it doesn't work like that. The smelters don't, don't do anything with it. So, which is fine. Then I have the back of this plant right here, which I'm going to put constructors and um, assemblers and manufacturers just right up in there. This is going to be a train area someday. Give this tree a little the space it deserves. Same with these dudes. Let them have their habitat. Now, you just gotta know how to get around the spider cave. Is there anything good in here? Let's go take all. Take all, just fill me up. And then this is just incredible right here. I can put another level in here if I have to of machines. But it jams out material. And I have two lines actually. I got one line going, that line that's not running right there. That goes to the front door or the back door or whatever. And then I've got another line that runs through here. I've got it like twisting through this area. 
it's pretty sweet, really. It comes through. Here. Into another staging pin I have. Which is just stacked full of this stuff too. Which I have another staging pen even further down. The quartz is easier easier to make than the silica. And then that stuff all goes up. Here to another wind. And then that goes to this. This is another staging area. Wow. This is all part of that spider pit. And then that comes all the way up into my train depot. Which also is supposed to be delivering turbo fuel to my power state on my power rig up here. So We're getting it dialed in. It really, this, this plant really isn't in full operation yet, but it's getting there. So that's where I'm at. And we'll see where I'm at next time we check in, huh? Alright. And the story progresses, and you know where I'm kind of going. Alright, see you later.